Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss inductive bias with respect to candidate elimination algorithm. First, we will discuss uh, what is biased hypothesis space. Then we will discuss how to convert this biased hypothesis space into unbiased hypothesis space. Then we will go towards uh, inductive system and its equivalent deductive system. In the previous video, I have discussed remarks on candidate elimination algorithm. In that video, I said the candidate elimination algorithm will converge to a true target concept provided two conditions should be satisfied. The first one is the training example should be accurate. There should not be any errors. The second is very important. The initial hypothesis space that is whatever the hypothesis space we consider initially that should contain the target concept. If this target concept is not present in this hypothesis space, then we cannot guarantee that the candidate elimination algorithm will converge to a true target concept here. Now, what if this target concept is not present in the hypothesis space? If it is not present, what will happen? If target concept is not present in the hypothesis space, such hypothesis space is called as biased hypothesis space. Now the question is how to convert this particular biased hypothesis space into unbiased hypothesis space. Before we go to that conversion, first we will try to understand how we have written this particular hypothesis here. Let us take an example of uh, enjoy sport again. Uh, in this, uh, this example I have already discussed in the previous videos. The link for that video is given in the description below. Now, how we have written the hypothesis in the previous case is we considered the conjunction of attributes here. That is nothing but uh, let us say that the first attribute is sky. The sky is should be equivalent to sunny. Temperature should be high and then humidity should be normal or something like that. So what we did here is the conjunction of these particular attributes we have considered here. So if you consider this particular case, uh, we will definitely get some hypothesis space. It is not that uh, uh, it will not work. It will work in maximum number of cases, but sometimes what happens is the target concept may not be present in that particular hypothesis space. So if, or if we are unable to get the target concept, such hypothesis space is called as uh, the biased over here. Now the question is how to convert it. So before we understand how to convert it, first we will try to understand this uh, with one example. Let us say that uh, this is the example we will consider for our discussion. In this case, uh, we have been given three uh, examples and uh, the first two examples are of type positive and the last one is of type negative in this case. Now uh, we will initialize the specific boundary and the generic boundary. Specific boundary is set to null and generic boundary is set to question mark in this particular case. Now uh, what we do here is uh, we will take the first example because it is a positive example we go to this particular generic boundary here. Now uh, we will try to compare this particular thing with the uh, generic boundary because all question marks are there it will match with all these particular attributes. Because it matches uh, we can say that the example is classified as positive and we are expecting positive over here. So there is no need to do anything on this particular boundary it will be retained as it is. When it comes to specific boundary, you can see here these are the nulls. Null will not match with these attribute values. Because there is no match, it will be classified as negative, but we are expecting positive here. So what we do is uh, we will uh, remove this particular hypothesis and then we will write the next uh, minimal generalization in this case. That is null will be replaced with the attribute values. That is what I have written here. Now coming back to the second one, uh, it is again a positive example. We will go to the gen generic boundary and see. Generic boundary contains all question marks. It will match over here. Match means positive classification expected is positive. So it will be retained again. Coming back to the negative boundary or you can say that the specific boundary. Uh, the first one is cloudy. Cloudy will not match with sunny. So we will replace this with a question mark here because that is the next uh, minimal generalization. Remaining all will match here. We will retain as it is. Now this is how actually it looks like. The next example is negative and uh, we go to the specific boundary first. The first one is rainy and we here we have question mark rainy and question mark will match here remaining all will match over here because there is a match this example is classified as positive but we want negative here. So what we do here is we have to write the next minimal generalization. What do I supposed to do? When you want to replace this particular question mark with the next one we cannot do because question mark is the highest generalized term in this case. Okay here we have rainy here we have question mark so we will retain it as it is and remaining all are matching so we will write them as it is. Now when you write this particular thing just go back and check one more time. If you see this particular new hypothesis and this particular 
uh, this third example there is a perfect match because question mark will match here remaining all will match over here because perfect match it will be classified as positive but what we are expecting we are expecting negative here so because uh, we are expecting negative this is an inconsistent hypothesis again you can see here we will not we are not able to write the any hypothesis on the specific boundary because we are not able to write the any hypothesis uh, we were not able to get the target concept here because we were not able to get the target concept it is called as biased hypothesis space in this case that is uh, the reason we cannot consider only the conjunction of attributes we need to consider some more things over here that is if you look at this particular thing if you look at only the first attributes whenever sky is equal to sunny and cloudy the person is enjoying so rather than writing this question mark immediately after this particular sunny we would have written something like this one sky should be sunny and uh, or sky should be cloudy that is what we would have written here if that was the case that will not match with rainy because there is no match this will be classified as negative in that case this is what actually i am talking rather than writing a question mark after this particular sunny sunny and then cloudy no match we have written question mark rather than writing something like that we would have written something like this sky is equal to sunny or sky is equal to cloudy the person is enjoying and when it comes to third example this will not match here because we are having sky is equal to rainy here it is not matching not matching means it will be classified as negative and that is what we are expecting so the hypothesis sh should look something like this uh, the same thing is applicable for other attributes also just we have taken one exam one attribute to understand this particular concept over here so this is uh, uh, how uh, what we can do is we can convert this particular biased hypothesis space into unbiased over here rather than just considering the uh, conjunction of attributes here we need to consider the disjunction of attribute values over here so definitely we will get the answer in that particular case that is also called as uh, extended hypothesis space unbiased hypothesis space or extended hypothesis space in that case now how to write that particular thing uh, there is one general criteria we can use or a process we can follow let us say that uh, you have some uh, set of uh, instances or some set of pos uh, examples are possible let us say that uh, uh, there are some uh, x number of uh, instances are there uh, let us say that we have some 10 instances in that particular case i am talking about all possible instances if you have 10 uh, number of possible instances we need to take the power set of that particular uh, 10 uh, instances you will get the final answer in this case so that can be represented something like this originally we were having 973 hypothesis in our uh, enjoy sport example and uh, this particular uh, instance space x contains 96 examples actually total number of examples are 96 you just go back to that particular uh, instance space and hypothesis space example uh, i will give you the, the link in the description below you will understand how did i got this particular 96 and the 973 over here so 96 are the number of uh, examples in the instance space you have to take the power set of this particular thing that is nothing but the extended or unbiased hypothesis space is equivalent to 2 raised to cardinality of x that is nothing but 2 raised to 96 in this case so when you write all this particular uh, possible uh, hypothesis definitely you will get one solution for 100 percent so that is what the meaning of unbiased learner in this case now coming back to the last part of our discussion that is uh, inductive system in inductive system uh, what act actually happens is uh, we will give our training example to the candidate elimination algorithm we are not sure whether this particular hypothesis space contains the target concept or not that is not sure uh, we will give the new example because we are not sure whether the hypothesis contains the target concept or not this new instance may or may not be classified as uh, one of the classes but in equivalent deductive system what we do is we will give uh, training examples to our uh, theorem prover that is nothing but candidate elimination algorithm again here but we will give an assertion that is uh, the h contains the target concept that is uh, this h is nothing but unbiased hypothesis space or you can say that the extended hypothesis space because it is unbiased it's 100 percent sure that the target concept is present in that particular hypothesis space so when we learn that particular thing the new instances will definitely be classified into one of the classes over here so that is what the meaning of equivalent deductive system in this case so in this video i have discussed what is uh, inductive bias of a candidate elimination algorithm i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching